So behind me strapped to the dyno is a 6.7 Power Stroke. And what we're doing, taking some numbers. That thing has just about every modification except our inner core, and that's what we're doing. So we're pitting the factory OEM unit versus our really awesome air to water inner core. Got the truck turned all the way up, seeing what power it makes on that unit, then we're just swapping ours and seeing what gains we make with our inner core. So we have nine straps holding this truck to the dyno. We took every safety precaution to make sure it stays in place. It makes so much torque, we didn't want the truck to go anywhere. We didn't want any of our dyno runs or any of our data skewed, so we made sure it's staying put. So watch this thing spin the rollers. So we just finished up our dyno comparison between the factory OEM inner core and our unit. So let's head on over to the dyno screen so I can show you the difference between the inner cores and explain the gains we made. So I'm at the dyno screen and I'm going to go in a little more detail on why our inner core made more gains in certain areas than the OEM unit. So follow me around and I'll explain this. All right, so our inner core is stronger, it's cast, it's welded right, it's got this bar and plate design on the inside. It flows so much better than the OEM unit and you can visibly see that on these lines. So the green lines with ours, the red line was with the stock unit. You can see how much better the power is coming in on the delivery. It eventually levels off. This probably has to do with the amount of boosted trucks running and the tune that's on this thing. This thing is fully tuned. It's got every modification on it, including our inner core now. So you can see down low from off idle when we start the dyno test and start the sampling, you can see the difference between the two lines. So the power's coming on much better, much sooner, because ours flows better. So to go more in depth and further detail, I'm gonna let you listen to the engineer on the project to explain this further. So we know that having a stock truck with a stock tune on our dyno, we picked up 40 torque and 13 horsepower. We wanted to see how our intercooler did with a truck as heavily modified as the one behind me. This truck has a lot of stuff on it, and now it has our intercooler. We noticed that from our dyno graphs that the power comes on sooner and comes on faster, as well as the torque. That's has to do with the fact that our intercooler flows 20% better than a stock intercooler. So our numbers here are showing that the horsepower and the torque are coming on a lot sooner in the rev range than you would typically notice with a stock intercooler. This has to do with the fact that the very restrictive stock intercooler has been removed and our intercooler that flows 20% better has been added. That allows that boost to hit the engine a lot faster. Now all of this, you're going to be able to feel that driving around town. These horsepower and torque numbers, those are where you're using your truck most of the time. So that's the conclusion of our 6.7 Intercooler Dyno Comparison. So click the link in the description on how to get yours.